Okay, so let's actually start making maps. We are going to create new and it says map size, ground height, splat texture, biome, height map. Let's talk about this. So the map size can range between 1000 and 6000. I think the sweet spot for a lot of maps is around 3500. Um, this meta might completely change once the vehicles get introduced. So don't quote me on that. It also really depends on what kind of map you're going for. You could be making a small event map or you could be making a massive, massive long-term project map. So 1000 to 6000 is the range you can choose from. For the ground height, the only thing you want to keep in mind is that the water in Rust is always at 500. So you got two options and I'll show you. You either put this uh, slightly under 500. So let's put it at like 490 and ignore the rest and press create. You will see that we get our ocean and we don't have any land, but you can see that it's actually slightly under the water. If we click on view and turn off the water, you can see that it's at 490. So what you then do is you take your, you take your terrain tool, you put race and you race it out of the air water that's option number one or if you slightly put it above so let's put it at like 510 let's ignore the rest for now and press create now you see that we have a slab of island or a slab of land which is floating above the sea which is not good so what you then have to do is go to terrain and go to uh, it says hold alt to invert i'm going to go more in depth about the terrain uh, in an upcoming video i'm just going to show you what the height map uh, or the floor height what you should be looking for take a bigger bigger brush size and then just hold alt and lower this into the water and i would not recommend doing this i always do the other way um, or using a height map this is not a lot of work but if you don't lower the floor far enough then maybe people can get under it and they will get killed so just turn off the water Yeah, I would recommend putting it under the water and then raising the rest out of the raising it out of the water. That's that's what I usually do. And then if you turn the water back on, this is what you would have. Um, but yeah, as you can see, oh, it's only visible from one end. You can have some weird, uh, yeah, problems with this, and this will mess up your map if you put this into your server. So I would recommend doing the other one, putting it a little bit under the water and then raising whatever you want, like raising your island out of it. That way uh, you don't have this issue. The splat texture is just how it looks. So you can choose a base splat texture and it will basically cover your whole map with that texture. If you, for example, choose snow, that doesn't mean that it will actually be cold. It just looks like snow. If you actually wanted to be cold, you would have to change the biome to Arctic, but it's not a, at least unless you're going for some ice map, that could be a cool ID. Um, I don't know if a lot of people would agree with you, but it, it could be fun. Um, just choosing snow will not make it cold, but it will cover your whole map in snow. And uh, I would recommend going, for example, with um, grass. Covering your whole map in grass always looks a lot better and then you just paint in the mountains or whatever you want to do, of course. Next up is biome. Like I just said, uh, this basically dictates what kind of um, yeah biome it is. So is it a green with grass or is it a desert? Is it a arctic, a snowy area? This is what you choose with your biome. There are four to choose from at the moment. I would recommend uh, keeping on temperate. Because, because tempered is also the biome you need for spawn points. So if you start making the map, you want to put some spawn points on there. At least you have some areas that are already tempered. And tempered is like the normal green grassy uh, where you usually spawn. Next up is the height map. And I'll show you what that means. 
there are plenty of height maps you can just download from the internet just go to google press in or look for world height map or uh, island height map whatever mountain height map and you can load those into rust edit so here are a few uh, height maps that i have i'll just choose one and i can set the minimum range and the maximum range so knowing that the water is at 500 i want to put it a little bit under and i'm going to give it about 200 300 ish to uh, in range to go up and then just uh, click create so as you can see it created a island and it looks a little bit jaggedy but what we can do if we go back to new and select that same height map we can crank up the smoothening passes so let's give it 20 and that smooths everything out so the water might be a little bit uh, or the land might be a little bit close to the water so what i would do in this case is just lower the minimum a little bit just a little bit and then maybe go down on the smoothening passes a little bit because 20 is maybe a bit much but this way it looks a lot better so that's basically how you would create a new map and if you want a bigger play area just crank up the map size if you want to start from scratch start from scratch if you want to have a height map have a height map that basically concludes the creating a map portion i'm now going to show you how to open up a map and we are going to open a map that is a procedurally generated map by rust and we are going to edit that and we're going to be using that map for our upcoming videos so see you in the next video thank you for watching this beginners to advanced rust edit course there will be a link in the description to the playlist that has all the videos that are currently in the playlist available and if i helped you out in any way please consider liking and subscribing i'm out peace